So I had a lot of people kind of asking me about what my setup was like and where I paint, I guess. Um, this is just down in my basement. We built this house last summer, so just kind of getting, had to find a spot to put it where there wasn't something. So this is a laundry room. Here's our washer and dryer. Uh, I just kind of built this in the corner here with some uh, shower curtains coming down. That way, any um, overspray or anything uh, kind of helps too when, with the fumes when I dip the baits in the moisture cure urethane kind of helps keep that down too so it's not all over the house we got a little boy too so can have a um, paint shop type all that stuff going on I guess the paint is fine it's water based but that clear coat gets a little uh, mind numbing sometimes but so here's my air compressor right here it's uh, just a cheap pancake compressor I got it a whatever a cheap tool store uh, it's got the regulator up front I guess I don't normally touch that um, I got the kind of holes all messed around here and uh, let's see here we got my uh, water trap here and then I got another um, Rick two different uh, regulators here I guess they I got them marked whether um, usually I keep it when I keep it open it's at 20 psi and then when I got it closed or down all the way it's about five or six psi so uh, that's that's where I normally just um, adjust my pressure right there so I can just when I'm sitting in my chair here I can just uh, you know reach down and and uh, um, adjust my pounds my air pressure for when I need it and here's my little uh, uh, if I make the um, stencils right here for the for the baits I guess I use that for the vacuum it's my new little deal and works kind of good too here this this setup if you guys are doing the stencils but if you get two picture frames and kind of screw them together and then kind of melt the plastic in between um, and wait for that plastic to start sagging and then set this on top of the canister if you do that it, uh, it's a lot better than having the heat over the bait if you guys have watched that video at all um, that way you, you're just heating up the plastic and as soon as you set it down it sucks down to the to the uh, to the bait itself and it works out pretty slick so there's that uh, let's see we got just all the paints I got up here there's some obviously we got blockogen that's key uh, some just a lot of paint some uh, some eyes right there some more paint down here this is kind of like my main the main colors that I use here the lighting is terrible in here right now and uh, some I'll get that fixed one of these days couple baits that I just dipped right there. I got a drawer. I don't usually do much in here. Um, some stencils and razor blades. Uh, some baits that I messed up on and I'll probably still fish them and let them get lost and don't care. But uh, scissors, uh, alligator clips up here. I got a ton of stencils that I have cut out I guess. Um, you know some combs that I use a lot of or I use a lot this comb here is one of my favorites for putting stripes on and just different things uh, q-tips back there uh, what else here's the airbrush and this little pot that comes from my water I mean that thing saves I probably wouldn't need these curtains on I guess because I all my excess I spray out I I spray in there and man that is it saves a lot on the the mist and everything else that goes on that's associated with with painting, I guess. So uh, here's my, my test out where I'm gonna what I'm gonna spray. I always do that before I ever um, spray on the bait, I guess. So uh, yeah, a lot of colors up here. A lot of them, you know, you buy them, and then once you start getting empty bottles, you can start mixing your own colors. You know, a lot of blues and browns and greens, different different colors that you can't buy, I guess. So. Uh, some glitter right here that if you do epoxy uh, there's some good old urethane right there just keeping that handy and some the pledge uh, future floor shine I add that to all my paint and that way it uh, helps it flow and helps with the uh, um, helps paint dry harder too so if some people if you guys are having problems with uh, your paint um, maybe not so much drying hard but like when you put your um, your scale masking on if you're having problems with it rubbing off so uh, I guess I got really that's about it uh, garbage some paper towels down here and that's just a 
little little corner I got in the house here with uh, some baits hanging up over here I guess too so that's it any other questions guys let me know and I'll, I'll, any videos that you guys want to see let me know and I'll definitely get them out there thanks